Congresswoman Kathy Matting, North Carolina, the um, vice ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. So, Congresswoman, thank you very much for coming on. The, um, I guess the Democratic perspective on, on this is, is the possibility, it's been floating around, I'll put up a political headline to make the point, of Democrats working with Republicans. The political headline is as follows, House Democratic Leader, informal discussions underway on the speakership mess. So what can you tell us about anything going on between the two parties? Well, as you may remember, Hakeem Jeffries wrote a, a great opinion piece that appeared, I believe, in the Washington Post a couple weeks ago, or maybe a week ago, saying that we are ready to work with the Republicans on a bipartisan path forward. And I'm glad to see that headline. I certainly hope it comes to fruition, because we Democrats have stood ready to work with Republicans if they are ready to given on some of the ridiculous rules they put into place and nominate a reasonable speaker, frankly, not someone like Jim Jordan, who is an insurrectionist, who has defied subpoenas to come before the January 6th committee, and who is a burn-the-house-down kind of leader. So if it's a person that, that, that voted, which is the point you're making, to overturn the election, uh, is that someone who Democrats could never work with, never support? Is that basically your point? Because, you know, just math-wise, that narrows down a significant part of the Republican it, caucus it, right now. It does it, it's just narrow, the facts. It does narrow it down. I would certainly hope they can find somebody reasonable to run. Who and, would be and reasonable I'm, on the Republican side, to, you know, from your point of view? I'm not going to put my finger on the scale. It's the job of the Republicans right. to choose their own leader. And also, it's the job of the Republicans to reach out and work with our leader, Hakeem Jeffries, mm -hmm. to come up with some reasonable changes to the rules they put in. Let's talk about that, if we can, specifically. This, as you, you called it, a bipartisan path forward there just a moment ago. And I'll put up your tweet from earlier today, which kind of uh, detailed it to some extent when you said, well, House, the House GOP fights with each other, House Democrats united ready to find, here it is again, this bipartisan path forward. I stood with my Democratic colleagues to share our message. We are ready and willing to govern, responsibly serve the people we represent. So can we dig into that a little bit? What does that a bipartisan path forward actually mean? What are you referring to there, specifically? So first of all, one, one of the rules I think they need to get rid of is the rule that Speaker, the former Speaker McCarthy agreed to, which was to let any single member of his conference bring a vote to vacate. That was a ridiculous agreement to read. And we've seen the result of that. The other thing is they need to stick with their agreements. We reached an agreement on the budget level back in June. Uh, President Biden negotiated with former Speaker McCarthy to, at the, to, for the budget letter, uh, level for this year. And we also agree, they also agreed not to put any poison pill culture issues into any of the important bills they brought to the floor. They have violated both of those agreements. If they are willing to live up to the agreements they make, if they're willing to put appropriate appropriate rules, packages on the floor, I believe that um, Hakeem Jeffries is willing to work with them. The biggest one is the, uh, or the biggest concern, I think, right now out there is how much, it, whether the aid can get uh, approved for Ukraine, but of course for Israel. There was a Reuters headline about the president pushing Israel and Ukraine aid package well over $2 billion this week. But unless the Congress gets its act together, I don't know if you get to there, but does that number make sense to you? Is that where you want it to be? You want more? Where are you? I'm going to wait for the president to tell us what he needs, because he has all the information uh, that he's getting from his his uh, secretary of defense, secretary right. of state. He knows what's needed. I hope that the Republicans will get their act together so that we can have a speaker and and push those bills forward, because the world is waiting to see what we can get done. We are ready. We All the Democrats came back today. We are ready to do our jobs. We just hope the Republicans are ready to do the same. All right, Congresswoman. Uh, Congresswoman Kathy Manning, uh, Democrat, North Carolina. Thank you very much for coming on, on this afternoon. Thanks very we much. appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.